NFL Week 10 Gambling Picks. Brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six awesome sports books down there. Fitz Casino, First Jackpot, Samstown, Hollywood, Horseshoe, Gold Strike. I mean, they got some awesome stuff down there. Go check it out. There's more information over at tunicatravel.com. You can find our stuff over there. You can find more information about all the sports books. It is fantastic. You can also go to winningcureseverything.com for all of our picks, our previews, just fun stuff. We got fun stuff. Our podcasts, our YouTube videos, all that stuff over at winningcureseverything.com. You can also find our picks contest. Last week, Lee B. from Madison, Alabama went 8-2. and two. He won the tiebreaker. He got two nights at Samstown Casino for free. He got two free buffets over at Fitz Casino. Dude is rolling. He will be coming to Tunica sooner than later. Hopefully we can join him. Hopefully we can join all of you. Everybody needs to be in this Pick'em contest. Go fill out your sheets. Last week. Pretty good week. Last week was a pretty good week. Pretty good week. I went 4-1 and one in my NFL picks. Pretty good for you, man. You've been struggling in the NFL. I've been struggling. It got me back to even, so I'm 22-22-1. Oh, you, you and did one. great. You did awesome. You, however, 5-0. and zero. And I will tell you this. This was uh, last week was like the worst week on record. Vegas has ever had. Yeah. Yep. It was really bad. So if we didn't do good this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We don't we don't <laughs> I mean, we don't need to be here. Ridiculous. We don't need to be here. Uh but but you went five and zero, oh, undefeated re uh I can't talk. Undefeated week. Made some money this week. You are now twenty six, sixteen and three in the NFL. Mm. That is a fantastic record. Let's jump into this week's games. You got game number one. Game number one. I'm taking the Chargers. I'm laying all 10 of those points to the Raiders. You got it at 10. I got it at 10 just before we came on. Okay. What did you get it at? I got it at 9.5 yesterday. Okay. Well, I got it at 10. The Raiders are complete garbage. Four straight losses, four straight against the spread losses. Chargers are rolling right now. They're beating up teams. They're looking good. With or without Melvin Gordon, doesn't matter. Uh, the Raiders are bad. Raiders are really, really, really bad. And 10 points is not near enough here. Nope. Nope. Uh, what you ten, got game number 10 two? points insinuates that you are going to kick a field goal to make it a round game like that. With that field goal kicker, just go for it. Just keep going for it. <laughs> My next game, I'm going to continue to do what has made me a lot of money this year. Okay. I'm going to bet against the Clapper. I'm going to bet against Dallas. Add Amari Cooper. Doesn't help anything. It probably moves lines in, in Dallas's favor, so you go against it. I'm taking the Eagles at home, laying the six and a half. That's I think a the, lot of points. Isn't I think it? the Eagles are going to. I think they're. I think they can win by a touchdown. I think they win by a touchdown. Okay. There is a. There is potential for them to just beat their tail. I can understand that. I can. Uh, I can definitely understand that. All right, game number two for me. I've got the Falcons minus four at your Cleveland Browns. The Falcons have Probably been rolling here. Bet. Falcons got three straight wins. They need this win to get above 500. The Browns have four straight losses. They're two and four against the spread. The last six, I love the Falcons here. They they've got this offense thing figured out. They're putting up points. They hammered the Redskins last week. And normally you'd feel like a, a comeback. Yeah. You know, come back to the meet. It, it, not against the Browns. Now you're the Browns right. are are really really bad right now. And Greg Williams is going to have no idea. Yeah. What to do with this offense? I'm, I'm I'm staying away. It's my team, but bet against them last week. But that was too easy. <laughs> yeah, it was. But next, I think the Rams are going to rebound, and I think they're going to come back with a vengeance. This is the first game that they've lost, and and they are a team that if they get up on you, they will drive it down your throat. And I think I I think Seattle's been playing well. I, I think they they've been playing better. Uh, then uh, away from Seattle, sorry. Then they, they, they actually have been got at like home. a little bit of a running game too. I, I don't know that that matters. I, I don't think it does. I don't want to be on the other side of Sean McVay and 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 that defense and Todd Gurley when they are pissed off and coming off a loss, especially a loss where they gave up forty five points. That's right. And I, this was not like manufactured short field points. This was like Drew Brees drove down your ass. That's right. I like the Russell whole Westbrook. Oh, I'm doing that. I do it all the time. I like <laughs> Russell Wilson. If you've been watching forever, you you know the routine. That's it's not a shtick. It's just I'm an idiot. Um, <laughs> you you don't. 
he, he's he's far cry from Drew Brees. Seattle's not putting up forty points. That's the, the Rams reasonable. the Rams very well might. Game number four for me. Or no, sorry, three for me. Three is that three? Yeah, three. That was my third. Uh let's see. Game number three for me. You're not gonna like this one. Okay. The Redskins plus three oh, at the Bucks. I'm not I'm not disliking it. I just Sunday noon on Fox, the Bucks are one and six against the spread in their last seven. The Redskins still four and two against the spread in their last six. I think the Redskins slow down this offense. I think they're still going to be able to run the football. And I know the offensive line is is crap right now. It's rough. But man, I think the Bucks are really bad on I mean, defense. if you're in shape at all and you're kind of a big dude, you should probably go to Washington. You you might get picked up. And you might be able to be successful against this Tampa Bay Bucks defense. Yeah, you might. You might. So Bucks defense is bad. That's that's what I'm banking on is that Alex Smith is still going to be all right. He is a competent, capable quarterback. And and against the defense that has no cl- – they look completely lost out there. So, with them looking lost, I'm going with the underdog on the road. Give me the skins plus three. I don't I don't dislike that pick. I actually I like it a lot. I'm I'm really scared of what the skins are going to look like with all of these injuries. That that's something that actually scares me. I can, now, I, I can totally understand it. In saying that, we broke this down a little bit in the preview. Give me the Dolphins plus 10 against the Green Bay Packers. <laughs> I, I think the Dolphins are a better football team than the Packers. Okay? I totally think possible. aside from the quarterback. Now, the quarterback play is not measurable. Brock Osweiler, Aaron Rodgers. Like like they're not even playing the same game. Every other part of the game, I think the Dolphins are better than them. So, I'm not saying the Dolphins are going to win this game. Ten points is a lot in the NFL to lay. I don't know that the Packers – they're a three-win football team, man. Yeah. I, I don't. I just don't see why they get that much respect. I, I haven't understood it either. So, I'm um, taking all of those points, and, and I might lose, but, but I think I'm on the right side of where you're supposed to be in this game. That, uh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Game number uh, four for me. I'm going to do it again. Okay. What did you do? Jags at the Colts. I'm taking the Colts minus three. Okay. That's Two bad that. football teams. Sunday, it's 12 noon, CBS. Look, the Jags are 0-4 against the spread. I said it before. Like, they are a dumpster fire right now. And when you find somebody that is bad, you bet against them every week until they buck you. Four straight losses, four straight spread losses. Colts have got two straight covers and uh, two straight wins. They have put up 21-plus points on everybody but Philly. They're at home. They're feeling good about themselves. I think three points is way too little right here. I still don't think the Jags have got this figured out. It, Blake Bortles makes one mistake. Everything goes to crap. That's right. And you get the best quarterback in the game. Mm-hmm. So My last pick, this one. You gotta kind of hold your nose with a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm taking, I'm taking the Buffalo Bills plus oh seven my and a half. God, wait, plus what? <laughs> seven and a half. God, I don't How think is that, that not the a double digit line. I don't think that the because Sam Darnold will turn the football over a lot. Yeah, he will a lot. I think the Bills are gonna keep this thing close. Now they're bad. They're really bad. The Jets have been really bad, too, though, man. I don't know that the Jets should be seven-point favorite over anybody. Uh, I mean, you might be right, but, like... I mean, I don't know that they should be seven-point favorite they, over the Raiders. They have uh, they have demolished some teams, but they have no, not looked no, no, good no, no, as No, they of haven't. Way. They demolished the, the Lions week one. Uh, they also beat the absolute dog piss out of the uh, Broncos. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot about 34 that. 34 to 16. Oh. Like, they, they have some games where they really oh. turn it on. So, Look, with with Peterman, and this defense ain't but bad. But here's the deal. They I ain't trying to talk like, you out of it. I think they got Matt Bartlick. And, like, he didn't start last week because he uh, he didn't know the playbook. That's fine. I think I would have started him over Peterman without knowing the playbook. It's fine. I think he's going to play this week. Yeah, that could be interesting. Okay. I mean, you, you might be on the right side it's, here. It's scary. Look, it, you can't. Say I'm betting on the Bills and but have like anybody take on the, like respect for it's like me betting on the Colts against the Jags. No, it's like, no, but you're betting against a bad team. I, the team you're betting with is got Andrew Luck as your quarterback. Well, okay, and, and they're looking better. I, there's a potential that I got Nate Peterman as mine. All right, <laughs> just, I I know that's bad. Look, I've pissed away money on. I don't know that it's dumber, but it, it's this is pretty dumb. That, but it's my pick. Damn it, my last pick: the Lions at the Bears. 
taking the Bears minus six and a half. Another nooner Sunday on Fox. Lions covered five straight before they lost their last two. Their offense has disappeared. That is not a good thing when you were going up against this Bears defense. Nope. The Bears have covered two straight. They are putting up points now. Like, they are finding the end zone. Trubisky is still not great, but he is serviceable. He and is I think a, He is a capable quarterback. He is very capable. They have got they've got a lot of talent. So, and I, I like this Bears team. I think they uh, – I think they will seize an opportunity here, and I'm getting them for less than a touchdown. I think the Lions are really bad right now. My my problem with my my Bills pick is I had too many favorites, and I don't bet favorites ever. Yeah, and and I just I mean I got four favorites this week, but I'm betting against my, bad teams. I couldn't talk myself into any of the other dogs. That's like, it, because scared, they're all bad teams. That's right. I'm I'm scared of I'm scared of Washington. I, I, I smartest almost, thing you can do as a gambler is bet against bad football teams. I almost bet on the Giants. I was like, no, I'd rather I'd rather take McDermott and the Bills and that defense against a quarterback that's going to turn the ball over all day long than take my chances with this Giants team. I could definitely understand, especially since we don't know what Nick Mullins is, right? Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, I, if, if Mullins is great, we gonna recap him? Sure. I got Falcons minus four at the Browns. I got the Skins plus three at the Bucks. I got the Colts minus three at home against the Jaguars. I got the Bears minus six and a half at home against the Lions. I got the Chargers minus nine and a half at the Raiders. I got the Chargers minus ten at the Raiders. I got the Rams minus ten at uh, against the Seahawks. I got the Eagles minus six and a half against the Cowboys. I've got the Bills plus seven and a half at the Jets. And I've got the <laughs> Dolphins plus ten at the Packers. All right, that's going to wrap up this week's uh, it's Week 10 NFL Gambling Picks. Don't forget, go into the contest over at winningcureseverything.com. Go to tunicatravel.com. Figure out uh, how you need to go place your wagers because we gave you everything you need to know to be a winner. Go on down to Tunica. they got six awesome sports books. Tunicatravel.com has got all the information. I think that's going to wrap it up. So, 740...